world of YouTube, true crime, a terrible sight, and everything else. <clears throat> Today I wanted to go over a big issue that has been, you know, thrown out there by um, people stating that only white women, blonde white women syndrome or something, the ones that get um, only casted throughout the news. Um, I don't understand where people are going with that, because I'll tell you something. <laughs> I took some screenshots, and I uh, took this picture from the... Um, Walmart missing persons board, mind you. <clears throat> I'm gonna get up, get and talk to the manager about this. Ah, hang on a second, there's some papers in my way. I gotta move. But I want to talk to the manager about this, about how often they change these, and that I want to come in every time. To take pictures and post them all over the, um, you know, all of my videos. I want to start doing videos. What sucks, though, is that, as you can see, I can't get the date, month, and everything, <laughs> age, but I do get the uh, name. Now, first off, what I'd like to go over is... Starting with how many colored people are on here. So far, as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know, I think she's white. Seven, eight. Then you have one. Two, three, four. Sorry, no blondes, but wherever they're going with that. <clears throat> now, first off, I'd like to start with this girl. You punch in this name, nothing. Now, bear with me. I want to show you something. Dang it, where'd it go? Thought I had that up. What the hell is this? Screenshot, stupid stuff. Hate when my phone does that. Well, thought I had it up there. But I assure you, when I punched in that girl's name, nothing. Nothing at all. This one, I punched up. She came up. And there's my point. The other girl, yeah, nothing. Oh, come on. Yeah. Now, I, <clears throat> I mean, I wanted to prove a point that, um, you know, they're going to say people don't get nation, national TV. There is one thing, though, that none of these have. And as, I, as, I, as you've seen, I counted off. And I didn't look up these other people yet. But what I'm going with is, and I don't care what anybody says, I ain't never heard none of these people on the news None of them. None of these people I've ever seen. <clears throat> on and I would have remembered faces. I got that um photographic memory. And right, I would have remembered these faces. But uh, it's insane how people are gonna. You know, I get it. <laughs> I'm all getting these comments about. 
how I don't understand this, how I don't understand that. Yes, I do understand modern women. <clears throat> I'm not sounding, trying to sound like a jerk, but boy, I know modern women. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Damn it. I mean, I've been learning modern women for one reason. My kids. You know, I had a dream. Um, about my son. And <clears throat> this dream was him looking up women. Like, say, on a dating site. And, um... It was like a, one of them could because of the Craigslist killer. So I started to do, you know, <clears throat> a, uh, how can I say? I started doing um, just a research on personal ads and Craigslist. And, <laughs> oh man. And just because of the simple fact of what they would say in description of themselves. I'm like, wow. And I had a dream before my son that he was trapped in a box. And I couldn't help him. And <laughs> it became true. Alright? My dream became true. Because I couldn't help him throughout school. I only could advocate for him, but I couldn't help him. And he struggled real bad in school. Even my second oldest son struggled. But my first born, and right, that dream I didn't talk of for a long time because, and I had told my wife like, you know, eight years back what the dream was about. And because of his struggles through school, the dream came true. And the way they pushed him through school, it's like, wow. Oh, and right, when you're helpless in that way, you know, that other dream I had, man, I'm, I've been on my kid. I've been on him. <laughs> and I make sure to write. And he did find a modern girl that was good. They're out there. And mind you, she was a reddish blonde hair girl. And she was good. It's the time and effort you got to put in to find somebody. You know, I don't need people telling me about modern women. I'm not trying to be rude, but I do my studies, people. I do my studies. And because I got kids, I got four boys, four boys that I got to watch out for so they do not make the wrong decision. And like I say, women these days, man, <laughs> not all of them, because I'm not, I'm not, you know, there's no self-respect. There's just, uh, I, I don't even want to say it, but I know it. Because I study it. And I have to study it. Because my youngest son is now, you know, 11 years old. And uh, I can just imagine what women are going to be like that far out. 18? <laughs> oh, man. But what it is is, I think... Is the good ones, right, are the ones that you got to remember and you got to think. They're the ones that put themselves aside from the broken society. And, right, and if you come from a broken home like me, doesn't matter if, you're, if I'm from the 80s, the 70s, the 90s, it doesn't matter. You're always watching for what you're looking for in a woman. I'm sorry. I, I know I do. I educate myself. I'm a self-educator. And because of reasons like this is why I do my studies. The 
you know, I might as well use it, the Gabby case. Gabby Petito. They say what she was and everybody's all, you know, thrashing out on her. Right, them are the ones you got to watch out for. I mean, all I'm saying is no one deserves to die. They need to get proper help, not killed. And if she was so well out of whack, then she should have got help. Not this guy deciding her life, whether or not she was the worst woman he could ever dated. And then now people are coming out that she was bisexual. Yes, that could have a problem too. Oh, man. Because you know what? Either you are or you ain't. Or you need to go into that crowd of group of crowd that is. Simple as that. And if <laughs> All right. She was bisexual. She was controlling. I get it. I'm not stupid. Um, but... Still, she should have got proper help. And then police should have straightened it out there and then and there, not let them go back together. <clears throat> if I was a cop and I was told right off the bat, instinct, that two people are on the road together, all right? They're on the road together three months and they're having these big old problems in a minivan. If I was an officer of the law, I would have said, get your butts home. <laughs> Separate. You have someone pick you up, take a flight, get a ticket, doesn't matter, take a Greyhound bus. I would have said, you need to end it here, you guys need space. And I would have, I would have. Because I've watched a lot of bad relationships. Even through modern times. <laughs> Yeah, there's a person right now, my wife's family, having problems, all right? My wife's family, one of her cousins. And go figure, go figure, 20 years old, dating a 28-year-old. <laughs> and I don't need to, you know, I'm not going to explain what's going down, but already from what the stories I heard... No, nope. you know what, I learn, people I educate, and every story I do hear, I put it in proper category in my filing cabinet right up here. <clears throat> and people have been telling this person to get out. And due to the fact that, you know, there's not much goodness going around, but if I was to tell this kid something, yeah, <laughs> would be get out before you screw up your life, and, um, you know, to me, instant families could be good in ways, but then again, I'm not a fan of it, I would never do it, not because I'm an a-hole, or because, you know, I want stupid crap say so like, oh, I'll get money for this? No, I wouldn't do it because of the simple fact is I don't know the mental history of the background of the person. And this is experience. I'm unscripted. I learned by living in instant families. <laughs> two times, two different families moved in. And, um... Due to the fact that, right, didn't know anybody's backgrounds, it, wa it wasn't good. It wasn't good for me. I mean, it, it's just, <laughs> I wouldn't do it because of the simple fact that's right. There's a mental history in that family. And if you don't know it, or if there's something, you know, other than that, that went down, and you don't know it, it always turns out in a bad situation. Don't get me wrong, some people work it out, some people can do it, but I couldn't. Just because of that fact that I know, 
<laughs> Wait a minute. What is that person got? What is that? You like to say, what is that person doing right now? Trying to figure out something that they're doing because you ain't never seen that kind of, you know, um, actions throughout your life. And then someone else comes along and does it. What the hell? Got you thinking that ain't normal, right? Just in just in that say so scenario. And I know Gabby and Mr. Dirty Laundry, right? Whatever they had, they should have used that trip as or he should have used it. Am I gonna be able to handle this woman is right? He should have used it. Yeah, I get it. Men snap. And on anybody that knows that a man that has a bad temper and snaps is me. That's right. I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I've had some brutal arguments with my wife. And um, when I get going, I don't say nice things. I get all riled up. I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. Because if I know something that I am right... And if I know something that shouldn't be done, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get to the end. Till some sense gets into somebody's head because, you know, but I'm surpassed all that. <clears throat> and of course, a lot of that too was due to alcohol, but I get it. Modern women. And you can say a lot by a person's face, and I mean, and I can say a lot of these kids here just, hmm. I can say these kids here don't, <clears throat> don't look too, you know, they all look like. I mean, except for her, she looks like she's got some, you know, keep it to, to yourself stuff, but I don't see anybody here that would be, uh, they look more like shy kids, happy there, you know, happy there, but of course you don't know what's going on in the, in behind closed doors. I mean, that girl looks like she's kind of, you know, got some problems going on. But, I'm not recovered. Oh, these ones are recovered, but, recovered. Look at that. I don't know why they leave them. And look at that. If this is the case and you have an alert and a recovered. I don't know why they put them up there, but this should all be on the news. This should be on the news. End of story. You know, to get... In, <clears throat> and for the news people... That's what I think the news should do. The news, whether or not, you know, their family do it or not. And I think it's got to do with a lot of people that push the, press the issue. Is why they get publicity. Yeah, they go on friggin' Facebook, they go on all their social media accounts, if they got Twitter, right, if they got Instagram, you know, if they got Facebook, if they got um, YouTube. I mean, all in all, in honesty, I believe it's got to do with the pushing the issue. And if you don't get publicity, then you go to another source. You go to, you know, it doesn't matter. There's so many sources out there. I'm surprised people ain't looking up. Where else can I go to have my people look for Um you know, what is the best way and to get them on TV? Yeah, that's right. You keep pushing. You keep banging on that friggin' door. And you don't stop knocking until you get in. And if someone wants to call the cops on you, good, go call the cops. Because I got a friggin' case here and you're not looking at it. 
I know I went to the police, my kid. I knew where he was, but I knew there was something wrong. When I went to the police, right, was, you know, because of his age. And I'm sure a lot of these kids get it too. That's why there should be another law. Because of their age. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a young kid up here. He ain't got no say for himself. He ain't got no, you know, he can't do for himself. Right? But when you got children with disabilities and they're vulnerable to friggin' people like that they got, it's all about their age and because of their age. You know, that's why people need to be more educated. That's why police need to have, like I said, they have a criminal photo come up. They need the mental health part to come up on their screen too. So when they type you in, you come up, oh, this and everything like their criminal record should be shown. That's what the disability people should have. Intellectually disabled, you know, mentally challenged, you know, everything that's wrong with a kid, ADHD, all that stuff. All that stuff needs to come up too. And if it does, it, it, it I'm sure it don't. The only thing that comes up on a police um, computer in the car is pretty much criminal records. I think kids with disabilities and their diagnosis should come up too. And that's exactly what these kids need. And when and, and of course everybody's telling me about modern day people. Well guess what? The missing part is the street smarts. And right, if you ain't got them, you're vulnerable to the whole friggin' world. And I think laws should be changed. And I might, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm working on trying to get this done. I'm going through Congress, and I'm gonna be calling. I'm got some paperwork I gotta do, but I'm also gonna be going through Congress <clears throat> to see what they can to get me to the right legislators or to get me into where I can put in a law for all disabled kids to have their records shown. So when they come up missing, they know what they're dealing with. And they don't sit there and have to wait no 24 hours. Because in 24 hours, anything can happen. Especially death. The main number one cause of kids missing. I mean, don't get me wrong. Some do get recovered. Yes, they do. And some don't. And that's the thing. And you wait that 24 hours, man. I mean, yes, we have Amber Alert. But where's the Amber Alert on these kids? Where was it? Any Amber Alert that goes off should be on the friggin' news period, too. I mean, it does come up, but you don't see it much. And obviously this right here. But these ones, I never seen them on the news, so that's living proof that not enough social media for anybody, anybody, even these kids didn't get no social media like Gabby and everybody yeah, is complaining of course families are coming out complaining well you know I'd make a friggin more of a ruckus in the scene and I would get my kid on that friggin and that's where I was going next if I didn't get my kid back but I was lucky enough to get him back and like I showed in the video, yeah, that person that had my kid, oh, four arm robberies, huh? Yeah, that's right, four arm robberies. Where were they really going with my kid, and what were they really going to do with him? Is the question. And that was a month, a month of going to bed thinking, what the f? Oh, yeah, yeah, we did a wellness check, he's fine. Yeah, and then I gotta get them cops' words stuck in my head. We did a wellness check, and he don't want to come home. It's, oh my god! Yeah, but and then that guy, and then that cop's gonna oh, yell at me about friggin' intellectual, 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 intellectual. All right, intellectual. Even the president of the United States at the time was intellectual, but that don't mean jack shit. Just a sick world we live in, and things need to change. It doesn't matter how long they're missing. It doesn't matter the situation of the case of missing. On the news, on the news, and then kids get 
searched better. And it should be within the report call, not 24 hours. When that call is made, bang. Especially kids with disabilities. And that's what should be said. And I wonder if that's another reason why people don't get their cases up. If it's, you know, I'm sure no one knew Gabby and this dirty laundry was whatever. But um, that's the main thing. If you got a kid with disability or whether or not, it, it needs to be looked at. No 24 hours. Immediately. Call made. Hit the fucking alarm. Bang. Rah, rah, rah. Get out there. Get out there. Start searching. End of story. Get them kids home. Get them kids the proper help if they're runaways. You know, get them kids. Up. Yeah. I would like to get out there and start doing something like this myself because I have the experience. I came from the streets. And, man, it just sucks. But that's my case on this. These kids, you want to read the names and look them up. See where they are. I mean, I don't know what this is recovered, but you know, like I said, I'm going to talk to the manager because I want to, um, I'm going to start doing a series of videos on this stuff. See, I got to get this scoop on what this means of recovered and, and it even means like parents when they kidnap their own friggin' kids. They're not supposed to have them well. <laughs> So, nope, getting it down there. But then again, they're saying recovered, but I still see her on the internet. So I don't know why they got recovered and then they got alert. But, like I said, I'm going to start trying to do series on this. Laws need to be changed. And as for Gabby Petito and Dirty Laundry, man, that girl did not need to lose her life. End of story. He should have just got out of there. If he's on, you know, he got out of there. It took him to her be dead. You know what? He should have got out of there and maybe wrote her a letter if she was that bad. Say, oh, something, emailed her or text her and I'm done. See you later. You know, you treat me like this. Nope, not no more. But, whatever. Insane. But, the main reason of this video, none of these kids were on the news either. And there's some white kids in there too, but I never heard of them. Why ain't they on the news? And it's all mixed race, so... It's not like these white kids get on the news. It all depends how much you push into it, I believe. So, till the next video, be safe, take care, always beware. Out.